Well, how do you save money? How do you keep your money in your pocket and away from other people's hands? Some people say, stop drinking Starbucks. Stop buying your coffee out. And I'm not going to say that's wrong. Uh, I probably spend anywhere between two to ten dollars a day on coffee. Uh, you know that can be. You know, if I spend ten dollars a day on coffee, there's thirty days in a month. That's three hundred dollars. So that's understandable. Um, but it's like anything you do in life is going to cost money. Every time you move, you burn up energy, uh, whether gas or electric. Um, any place of dwelling, whether house, apartment, uh, costs money. Uh, even living in your car costs money. Uh, there is nothing you do in this world that doesn't cost money. You know, one thing that I always heard was pay off debt so that you can keep the money in your pocket instead of paying a bank. And I find that tremendously wise. I, I work very hard to pay off my debt at the age of 40. Uh, I became debt free just recently. And what I've learned is even when you pay off debt, you still have expenses. You pay off your car, you still have car insurance, you still have gas, you still have maintenance. You pay off a house, you still have property taxes, you still have home insurance, you still have maintenance. You never, never can get to a point in life where money is not leaving your pocket and going into someone else's. Therefore, there's not much you can do to avoid having to outlay money. What you can do is avoid, I, I would say that the number one way you're going to lose money is trying to make more money. Uh, I want to repeat that. The number one way you're going to lose money is trying to make more money. You know, remember the TV show, The Honeymooners? The Honeymooners was a, a, a great American uh, TV sitcom uh, based uh, years ago where uh, a lower middle class guy worked as a bus driver, lived with his wife in an apartment in New York City. Uh, they had no kids and he was a bus driver. I believe his wife was stay at home mom or stay at home wife. And the way they would lose money would be Ralph Cramden would, he was the guy from the Honeymooners, he would always try to figure out how to make more money. And he would spend his hard earned money working as a bus driver on these get rich quick schemes, you know, um, trying to get ahead. And I'm not saying it's wrong uh, to invest, to venture out, to start businesses, because that's part of you know, the American dream, it's part of anyone's dream where you want to get to a point in life where you're getting ahead and you have relief, okay, and you're not always spending money, or, or at least you have so much money coming in that you're not phased by this money that's going out. So, two things. One is, you're not going to avoid having to shell out money, but you do need a budget, you do need awareness, awareness, awareness of how much you are paying for what. You do need some discipline to not always be buying something. And you do need to be aware that one of the biggest pitfalls in money is you trying to make more money with the money that you worked hard for. You know, Bernie Mad uh, Madoff, just, who just died recently, I believe in his 80s, was another, uh, he was an American, uh, like, uh, investor fraud, uh, fraud. He was he was a fraud. He would take people's money because he would promise them, you know, 10, 15 percent guarantee, something like that, return every year on their money. And uh, very famous, successful people would give him their money, and he stole millions and billions, maybe. So even you know, people that make great amount, great amount of money, they try to make more money with their money. I uh, think about there was a. Uh, a radio host uh, in New York uh, uh, with Boomer Boomer and Carton. Carton was one of these radio hosts who was a millionaire. He had a very successful radio show. And 
he had lost everything, including his job, gambling, and doing like these illegal schemes to cover up for his gambling loss. And again, so how do you save money? Do you stop drinking Starbucks? Well, you stop gambling, you stop taking excessive amounts of risk, or at least you mitigate that. You know, before, you know, you get shamed into not drinking a $2 Starbucks, and this was $3. Be careful on penny stocks, or be careful on uh, st single stocks, or be careful on businesses. Uh, be careful on anything that, you know, buying a du you know, buying a, a duplex or, or uh, a, tr a triplex or a multifamily and renting it out, that's not guarantee of money. You can lose a lot of money. There's a lot of capital, a lot of money that needs to be spent to make money. And there's no guarantee you're going to make it. Of course, everyone points to Elon Musk, uh, Steve Jobs. But don't forget, these people were on the verge of financial ruin. You know, Steve Jobs, I believe he got bailed out by Bill Gates. He was almost totally destitute. Remember, Elon Musk, Tesla was basically, it was bankrupt. The government, Barack Obama and their administration bailed out. Tesla, SpaceX subsidized by the government. There's so many, so many points in life where things could have went totally bust, but people got saved and then they turn into this great thing and people think, oh, I'm going to do it like that. And there's so many stories that you'll never hear uh, of people that had so much money come out of their pocket. And many of it was due to reaching for this excessive amount of more money. Now, I don't want to say don't start a business. I don't want to say don't invest your money. I don't want to say don't reach to a certain degree. I mean, the human needs to expand. Uh, but I certainly don't want to say just stop drinking Starbucks. There's got to be a balanced budget, a discipline to not overspend and, and take on too much debt, if any debt, and the consistent work and the consistent discipline and the incremental risk. There are exceptions to this rule. There are, again, the Elon Musk, the Steve Jobs, but they were this close to never being who they were. So, and there's billions of more that turned into these destitute people. So, you know, I don't know, you know, in my observation of life, you know, that there's that saying that, you know, how do you double your money? You, you fold it and you put it back in your pocket. Now, being a cheap bastard is not always the best thing, uh, especially, you know, if you have kids, if you have family, I, I think, or a girlfriend, boyfriend, I think you should spoil each other, um, you know, to a certain degree, as long as there's no entitlement or manipulation. But, you know, just my uh, observation this morning and my, my thoughts as I drink this coffee, I think about how. Because I'm always thinking about, yeah, I would like to make more money. I would like to um, not have to ever worry about money. I think everyone has that to a certain degree. There's some people that don't worry about money as much. But I'm always thinking, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about money. But all you can do is do something every day stay productive, stay a little bit disciplined and not go too crazy in trying to make more money uh, to the point where you lose the money that you have. And then you got to enjoy a certain amount of money that you do earn because then, and I'm in that algorithm, I think I'm going to do a live feed talking about the addiction to living cheap. I'll do that. There's spenders and savers. Uh, I've been both in life and they're both very addictive. Uh, once you start spending, you know, it's like you start ordering stuff on Amazon. You want to order something in every color. Once you start saving, you don't want to spend money on anything. You know, you're stealing toilet paper from your job. Uh, I'm not doing that. I work remote. But I'm just saying, like, you know, you go into this algorithm where, you know, you just, you get obsessive. So either way, guys, that's the uh, video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It helped you in some way. If you want to support the channel, click the blue join button. Thank you to all my members. You can check out my playlist with thousands of free videos. Click the thumbs up on the way out. Leave a comment below if it's positive. You got something good to say. 
And thank you again for watching. Much appreciation. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. That's the best way to make money. All right? Peace.